it's your last Sunday. How do you feel? Hey, what's up, buddy? I feel pretty good. Right. I feel ready to go. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's like the last time I'll, one of the last times I'll see this. In the setting. Here, in the yeah. setting. Right. Yeah. Alright. I got, uh, I got eight cards here. I've got, you know how some people say he's not playing with a full deck? You're talking about this trick. <laughs> they might be talking about me actually. I've got the four aces and the black ace and nines. We'll get to these in a second. The important part of all these effects are the aces. We've got the diamonds, the clubs, the hearts, and the spades. I'm going to leave the ace of spades face up and put the other three aces down here. And these indifferent cards are going to help me out. Remember, I have four of those. And the first one goes on the ace of spades. Now if I take this ace and put it up here in my hand with just a snap of my fingers, you'll notice that it magically changes places with the one down here on the table. Now I'm going to do that again, yeah, two more times actually, That's there's two more aces. I right. take the next card, the eight of clubs, place it down here on the table. The next ace goes up into my hand with a snap and a click this time. You'll notice the eight of clubs magically changes places with the ace of clubs. The eight of clubs, ace of clubs, they sound the same. They get confused. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you. Yes. Yep. We'll take this last card here, the Nine of Clubs, goes down on the table. The last ace, the Ace of Hearts, goes up into my hand with a snap, a click, and a spin. You can see that the ace magically changes places with the card that used to be right down here on the table. Ooh. I was going to say, you, you may be joking, but I'm not. But, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's so, so smooth. So, uh... Is that it? That was it. Dude. I was recording, so. Oh, good. <laughs> Got that one. I think um, over the next couple of days, I want to, like, I want to make a video of, like, my last day in the shop. Do it. So if this footage looks good, please send it to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'll make it available to you, so. But the plan is I just want to kind of show, like, a day in the life that deal and just like get a bunch of footage of me working yeah and stuff like that yeah put together my video oh okay for like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes i like to help my friend jeff out in closing the store and this is the last time I get to do this. Hello, Swami. Um, thanks, but no thanks. Unless you want to take over. Best of luck. Enjoy. Enjoy in, in like however you want to define enjoyment, whatever your thing is. <laughs> Are you a masochist, John? Yes, and I don't think you knew that about me. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I did. I'm kidding. How did it feel? Last, that's your last Sunday, dude. That one uh, feels good, man. Mm -hmm. Feels uh, like one step closer to freedom. One step closer to freedom. See the light at the end of the tunnel. And you know it's not a train People this time. Keep telling me, don't go towards the light, but I never listen. So many of the missing books in here are in my library. Thanks to Jeff. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. No, I, I, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So he's worked here for 11 years, and this is his last weekend. He's moving on to a tech job. So it's kind of cool to check out the shop because he closes his chapter here. Yeah, this is how I met Jeff, just by popping in. Which is funny, because like when I started popping in, we were living in the same neighborhood. Literally a block or two away. And yeah. we didn't know it, we didn't know it. Had no idea. Well, we knew once we talked about it. But that was like a few weeks ago. So like over oh, 10 years. Oh, that's true, yeah. Over 10 years of knowing that. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Time doesn't make any sense. No. 11 years, man. 11 years in, in, in one spot. 11 years behind this counter. 11 years behind this counter. So many decks of cards and books and DVDs yeah. and... 
Mostly farts. Dude. And novelties, pranks, jokes, fake poop. Have you shown them the fake poop? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get that. I like to. The shine and the texture really sell it. You know, we yep. import these from Spain. That They know their shit, man. It's the best I've found in the world so far. The best shit you'll find. It is. Spanish made. <laughs> Crafted by the finest artisans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get the hell out Dude, of here. it's Sunday. You don't have to be here any longer than you should, right? No, I can be. Last Sunday. Ta da! So I would make it my weekly visit to just come in and say hi to Jeff every weekend and kind of I time it so it's towards the end of the day, so I would help him close, bring everything in. It's so great because, like, he's, you know, moving on to bigger and better things, and I'm just excited for him. But I also wanted to make sure that I was able to visit him on one of his last few days in, in the shop because this is kind of where our friendship started. And it's a very important place for me, meaningful place for me, because like a lot of that stuff happened here and it really got me really back into magic, probably the, the, the way I should have been back in high school, but I only did it now. So it's good to kind of see this chapter close and, and uh, we'll see what his new chapters look like moving onward. And that is to come in the next year. So Market Magic Shop with Jeff catch him he's here till friday but by the time you see this video he'll probably be gone so what i've really found about the market is it's really cool because there's a lot of community here all of the shop owners know each other so it's kind of cool to watch jeff talk to all of his friends in the different shops. One of the cool facts I learned is to own a shop here, the owner has to run the shop. So you can't live out, you know, anywhere else. You have to be a Seattle resident. You have to run the shop. They have to be here. And I think that's a really cool part of the shop. One of the many things I've learned talking to Jeff 